Okay, Brenda here from the pop-up homestead. We are batting down the hatches because we are supposed to have a very bad storm coming in. And as you all know, we're not really used to uh, tornadoes here since we're northerners. But there is a strong chance of a tornado watch, so we are literally battening down the hatches. So what does that mean exactly? So, it means Sean is doing a whole lot of work. He's got the windows covered. He moved the solar floodlights so that if they get, we're supposed to be getting large hail balls, the large hail won't attack it or ruin it. And then the biggest thing we did besides block the windows, which let me come back here and I'll get a better look. Say hi, Sean. Hello. He's very busy. There's Joy Joy. She's getting bigger. The cute one. We, uh, we managed to get the solar panels covered thanks to our neighbor Ed and Sean up there. That was a job, but it was very much needed. So <clears throat> I think we're going to be all right. Um, we're just trying to get loose flying debris, you know, taken down so that it doesn't cause problems. Sean's been up on the ladder for the last hour or so. You can see the straps. He's got it all, the cover strapped over top of the solar panels. Um, we picked up all the loose tiles that were laying out there. And he is actually adjusting the fence right now so that, um, so that we can take the truck and park the truck right next to the blue cabin. And we have clothes and uh, food and we're going to grab the pups. And if there's a, a warning, we're going to take off because we're not going to stick around during a tornado. So what do you have to say, Mr. Warnica? I tell, I grew up in Evansville, Indiana, and we had tornadoes. They usually skipped over that. We were Evansville, the whole city is in the valley. Usually we'd go over. It was always a possibility. And I lived in Tennessee for 15 years before I came to New York. And I've seen a lot of damage and I know what happens. And if the hit tornado hit this, it'd just be like blowing a dandelion. It just poof, gone. Um, but we just have to let God's protection be enough. <coughs> but make sure that <coughs> strong winds <coughs> but the biggest one is they're expecting really big hail well hail is going to damage solar panels have to be protected and so that's why we're taking extra precaution but i remember as a kid and a teenager driving around seeing all the damage and i'd rather just be prepared than be over safe than not safe enough so i couldn't agree more and uh, if you guys remember our last video we did a while back on sweet potatoes the puppy found one. They're actually still growing in the ground. Where we harvested those buckets, the roots went down into the ground, out of the bucket, and uh, started growing into the ground. So she has herself a little sweet potato snack whenever she feels like it. Actually, if you look over where they were, you can see, you can see them growing right out of the ground. It's really neat. Yeah, so I guess we're probably going to have sweet potatoes there from now on, whether we like it or not, <laughs> which I'm good with because the sweet potato vine tasted delicious, and we also like the tubers, so chickens are doing good. Uh, I think they'll probably just go in the coop when the weather gets bad, and they should be very secure. It's a very sturdy chicken coop. You can see the skies are moving pretty quick, so... Not really sure what'll come of this, but uh, yeah, this is real life homest homesteading stuff. You got to be ready for uh, changes in weather, and that's exactly what we're doing. So, Brenda, signing off from the pop-up homestead. See y'all. Sean, signing out. <laughs>